All right, we got the first floor framing complete. And now I need to put the secondary top plate on. So as you can see, there's all of these walls here and we tie them all together at all the joints by putting a secondary top plate on that and we overlap each wall. So anytime there's a joint like right here in this bathroom here, that bathroom wall will overlap onto this wall with our top plate, the secondary top plate. So everywhere there's an overlap, we'll bring it over and tie the wall together. That way they're not all just independent walls, but then they get kind of tied together, locked in nice and tight, and that helps with the stability of all these walls. So the reason a stud is 92 and 5 eighths when you buy from the store already pre-cut to that length is because you have a bottom plate, which is an inch and a half. You have a top plate, which is another inch and a half. Then you have that secondary top plate to tie all the walls together. That's another inch and a half. So that's four and a half inches right there. So if you add it up 92 and 5 eighths plus four and a half inches, you get 97 and 1 eighth inch. What that is, is you got eight foot for your interior height. You got five eighths for the flooring you put in and then a half inch for the ceiling drywall. So that gives you a full just eight feet from your floor to your ceiling. So the first wall I want to tie in on the top of the secondary top plate is gonna be this bathroom wall right here. And I'm gonna start there and then I'll do the small pieces uh, and work my way around, but that's the logical place to just to start there because then I'm gonna tie into the wet wall down down here and so on. So we'll get started. So this is the first piece I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure all the way from the edge of the wall there over that outer wall and then all the way across and then over the edge of that wall there. So 105. There you go. So see how this overlaps here? I'm gonna screw that in to here, that wall, and then on the same thing on that other end, we'll screw it in there and that'll hold this in tight. I put one in this end first before I put more in just to make sure that this is straight. Now the next one I'm gonna do is from here across over the wet wall there. And we'll tie into the wet wall. 65 and a half. So this one I'm going to screw from underneath also just in case I need to pop these screws out and move this wall slightly to fit the bathtub in there just in case the plumbers might appreciate that and rather than not use a sledgehammer to move the wall and I can just unscrew it and move it just an eighth of an inch if needed. So as you can see here this is where it ties in now to this six inch wet wall and that will lock this wall into place with this wall with this overlap here. Okay, now I'm gonna tackle this big wall here, the 16 foot wall.
Next, we have the wet wall here where I'm gonna tie in over that outside wall there across um, to that wall tie in there. So we'll measure that, cut that two by six and put that in. Now these just have to be rough measurements because I can overhang, you know, by quite a bit over there. So I can go 101, 102. So I'll do 101 and a half or so. We'll do that section next out to that corner. 87. And I don't think I have something 87. I might have to put two pieces up here. I've got a long piece I can take from the outer edge, or actually from here, because I'm gonna tie this one in this way. So maybe I wanna do this one next, this way. Yeah, I'm gonna do that next. Exactly. piece I have left of the two by six 64 I need 83 so I might have to use this in another smaller piece let's put this up there and then remeasure okay so 19 and a half I think I might have something So now it looks like I've got just some shorter pieces. So I got this one in here over the window. I'll tie into that. And then after that, it's just little pieces. So I got that little one there, the one right there. 60 and a quarter.
There we go. I think all the way around. I could probably put another long one there. I'll put a full 16 footer over, tie that together. That, that'll just really strengthen this wall up once I get this nailed in. All right, now that I got all of the secondary top plates all around that area over there, the bathroom, the mudroom area, laundry room, and down the big wall here, it stops right there. Now I need to just finish out along these outer edges here. I can finish that with what lumber I have. I've run out of lumber for this window wall right here. Um, I'll have to do that later, but I can at least get this secondary plate done. So here, I'm gonna take it over this joint onto this wall to tie these two walls together. Where'd you get a pool? Dollar, Dollar General. General.